Ogunja, and welcome to uh, your daily devotion. Uh, what a privilege, uh, what an honor uh, to be sharing God's word with you. Uh, do you know that God does nothing outside of his word? Do you know that the word of God is God's limitation? What I mean by that is that you will never find God outside of his word. You know, I, I, I've, I've said this so many times. I said, God has no limit, but his word is his limit. If you say, oh, I found God, but it was outside of his revealed will in Christ Jesus. Brother, you didn't find God. You found something else. <laughs> because God and his word are one. So don't expect a miracle outside of God. Don't expect anything outside of God's righteousness. Don't expect anything outside of his word. So it's important that as God's people, we settle that right now, if we haven't done so, there is no God outside of his word. You see, when you have that thinking, when that thinking is operation in you, it will help you to filter what is real and what is not real, what is God and what is not God. Because there's a lot of, there's a bunch of stuff out there masquerading to be God, but it's actually just the devil in, in, in sheep clothing. So when you understand the word of God, when you know God's word, oh, you will never be deceived. You will never, never be deceived. Oh, I'm telling you, you can never be deceived when you are in God's word. Because the word of God is light. The word of God reveals, praise God. Praise God. So if you cannot find God outside of his word, it means that everything that God does is according to his word. And it will be to our advantage if we take advantage of his word and do life according to his word. Because the only way you can manifest, the only way you can, you can reveal and fulfill your destiny in God is to do it according to his word and by the power of the Holy Ghost. I don't understand how a bunch of people want to function, want to do God's things, God's way, but outside of God's word, you can't do anything for God outside of his word. No, you can pray outside of his word. You cannot love outside of his word. You can show kindness outside of his word. Everything has to be according to his word. According to his word. Even Jesus did not function outside of God's word. Yeah, he was the word of God in the flesh. But he did everything that God told him to do. He said, my meat is to do the will of the one who sent me. In John 5, he said, I, I can of myself do nothing. Whatever I hear from my father is what I say. Whatever I see my father do is what I do. To Jesus, he would just copy and paste. He copied whatever he saw the father do. And he did the same thing. He just said whatever he said. He heard from the father. And that's the way to live the Christian life that reflect the glory of God. Hallelujah. So in our devotion of today, we're looking at do it by the Spirit, especially in prayer. Oh, I cannot overemphasize that enough. Why we must pray in the Holy Ghost. Now, it may not be popular. Revelation is never subjected to popularity. It is the outbreeding of the will and the intents of God. So it's not about, oh, is it popular? No. Did God say we should do it? If God says so, that settles it. Hallelujah. And that's one of the reasons why when we pray, we must pray in the Holy Ghost. We must do it in the Spirit because this is something that ought to be commonplace in every one of us to pray in the Holy Ghost, to do it with the Spirit. Hallelujah. Just like every other thing, it got to be done in the Spirit and by the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The Bible says we should do everything, everything in the name of the Lord. We should do everything in the name of the Lord. How can that be done? Through the power of the Holy Ghost. So as you pray today, pray in the Spirit. Oh, hallelujah. I can tell you the benefit of praying and doing and doing it by the Holy Ghost. Oh, boy. See, oh my goodness. Just talking to you about it, I, I get turned on on the inside. I'm stirred in my spirit already. Just to think about what it means to pray in the Holy Ghost. And all of that heavily, heavily, heavily. Oh, boy. How, do I, how can I explain this to you? All of those heavenly feelings 
It's not so much about the feelings, it's just the lilies bubbling on the inside of your spirit. You know that you are making changes. You know something is taking place because you're praying out of the Holy Ghost. In fact, the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Remember what the Bible tells us. He says the anointing destroys the yoke. And the yoke uh, removes body. And what are yoke? Yoke is uh, uh, it's like something that they place on an animal that determines the course, the direction of that animal. As long as that yoke is on that animal, the animal can go right, can go left, can only go in the direction that any the one that plays the yoke on that animal says the animal should go. In other words, that animal has no control. And that's what the anointing does. He removes that yoke. So the Holy Ghost can have control for the glory to God. So the word of God can have free cause. Hallelujah. Yokes on the inner mind. Oh glory, the thinking that contradicts destiny. That push them away from fulfilling God's destiny for their lives. And this is why we must pray in the Holy Ghost. All this religious prayer, brothers and sisters, we need to just put the states aside. Pray all your prayer in the Holy Ghost. Here you are, you are about to eat. Instead of you say, Oh, Father, bless this food for Christ's sake. Who's going to eat the food? Jesus is not going to eat the food. You are going to eat the food. And if God's going to bless that food, He's going to have to bless it for your sake because you're the one that is about to eat that food. So pray all those baby religious prayer. You look at that food, say, Leba Ramashanda Kabahi. No Zateke Barakes go shaki da bahati. Oh, as you pray in the Holy Ghost, you can feel the stirring, you can feel the moving of the Holy Ghost. And one thing you have to realize is that perhaps a he that speaking in an unknown tongue, edified himself, repairs himself, builds himself. So all that time that you're praying, you're building stuff, you're repairing stuff. You're mending stuff. You are rearranging stuff. Glory to God. And you are paving way for you. And on, not only that, angels are taking the sickness of those communications and you're going into action to make sure that what you have spoken in the Spirit comes to pass. Glory to God. Glory to God. You're struggling with something? Pray in the Holy Ghost. It will break off. Glory to God. <laughs> oh, hallelujah. So I want to encourage you. No matter what you do, do it in the Spirit. Love in the Holy Ghost, pray in the Holy Ghost, uh, show kindness in the Holy Ghost in everything, everywhere today. Let it be characterized with the consciousness and the anointing of the Holy Ghost because until you do that, you will never see the move of God in your life. I'm not talking about a one of no, I'm talking about a, 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 a visible manifestation of the moving of the Holy Ghost in your life. So, read the devotion. Oh, it will bless you. I'm telling you, it will bless you. It will bless you. Bless you. Glory, 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 glory. Yeah, uh, and one more thing. Uh, make sure that you share that devotion with someone. Make sure someone has a copy of it. He said, boy, this is blessing. I need you to take a look at it. I'm telling you, it will change them forever. Because the testimonies are coming. People's lives are being changed by the word of God. Praise God. Anyways. Uh, what a privilege to share God's word with you again today. And uh, and I'll be back here tomorrow to share a special word from the Spirit of God with you and your family. Boy, make sure you apply yourself to the wisdom and to the principle that are contained in this devotion and see your life go from glory to glory. Hallelujah. And just want your life just, just move. Glory to God. <laughs> Hallelujah. Anyways, until I see you again tomorrow, make sure you do everything by the Holy Ghost and make no apologies that you're loving by the Holy Ghost and you're praying by the Holy Ghost. You're giving thanks by the Holy Ghost. Uh, you're sharing, uh, you're extending kindness and just about everything by the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. God bless you. Uh, bye. Mm -hmm.